guys welcome back to gk code labs this is our second session in apache spark series so in this session we will start with the basic api of the spark that is rdds and as we are following the official documentation of spark in this series let me see what officially spark has provided in terms of rdds so in the official documentation i'll go on the programming guides and the rdd section so they have a small overview let me increase the font so every Spark application consists of a driver program that runs user's main function and executes parallel operation on the cluster. As I have told in the previous series, the main abstraction Spark provides is resilient distributed data set that is RDD. And that is what we are going to learn in this session. So let's see what three main things they are discussing in this paragraph. That is RDD. The second abstraction in Spark is shared variables which they are telling are of two types that is broadcast variable and the accumulators so we have to discuss this point also so let's go step by step as we have to make small videos as many of you have requested so we'll go step by step first thing is linking with spark so when you are starting to write spark code they are telling if you are only going to use rdd you should first have spark core library into your development environment just an additional information this libraries you have to add if you are using spark onto some external platform that is that is like an ide if you are using spark from spark shell you don't need to include these uh, explicitly so just the same thing they have mentioned in the linking with spark section so under the rdd section if we have to use it we have to import two libraries basically that is spark dot spark context and spark dot spark conf so why these two libraries because for creating the spark context we need to have spark context library obviously and this spark context when spark initiates the driver program that is done with the spark context and this spark context takes few configurations that we can define in conf section so both these libraries we need to have so let me start a hands-on parallelly so it will be better for you to understand i'll open my intellij i have already created a project inside this inside the main directory this is a basic structure it will provide you scala folder um, you can see these in many of my previous videos also inside this i have created a package so let me create a new scala object also this is also one of the point that uh, we'll discuss in further session that what is the difference between classes and objects in scala let me see rdd so this is my object now first of all let me create a main method inside this okay let's see what they are saying so for using spark rdds we have to import these two spark context and spark conf so i have imported this i'm sorry i have to mention this above all sorry okay i have imported the libraries also if you are using this in on intellij as i am using just make sure your project is also able to access the official spark library that you have to mention in build.spt so i have mentioned spark core dependency in my build.spt i have imported these two so these have all the documentation for scala java python we are using scala so i am al always using the first tab so the first thing that we have to do in spark program is create a spark context object to create a spark context object we have to build a spark conf object as i just told you so spark conf object you can set app names uh, the master that is uh, that the spark application is going to use and similar things so let me take this i'm just copy pasting because i don't want to waste the time uh, let's see in the main method i'll create a spark uh, conf that will have a uh, app name so let's say i'll give it a app name session 1 and master again as the in the previous video we discussed this master is if we are running on yarn then we can mention the yarn mode otherwise uh, we can mention the local if we are using on local so for this session as we are just going through what rdds can do uh, i'll run it on my local and using uh, let's say one core I'll give it in double quotes and using this conf we are creating a spark context let me have a name for this spark context so i'll assign it to new val so we have our conf and spark context ready let's see what next 
they have mentioned using the shell obviously we can use it using the shell also but the things are same uh, if once we'll use uh, once we'll start using uh, cloud era quick start vm i'll show that also there is a command that you can use spark shell it will initiate a scala session uh, which will run on spark so for that also um, on local you have to mention the number of cores and so on so let's see what is rdds rdds are basically resilient distributed data sets so just a small revision what are these these are data sets obviously we are going to store our data into these variables and these are distributed as we discussed yesterday uh, this is cluster computing so whatever data sets we are going to form will be uh, distributed among different nodes all that data that is inside these rdds will be distributed and what does resilient means resilient means is these data sets can be computed or recomputed in any point of time if required during the flow of our application once we will come to different operations that can be done on rdds